morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. We are not sipping wine at 10.30 in the morning. Uh, we are gonna be doing the iWalk giveaway at the end of this video. I apologize that this is 24 hours late. Yesterday, I was on the couch over there all day with a massive migraine, which is why you are about to see as I continue to fold paper slips with your guys' names on them and put them in my drawing glass. A video from yesterday, the end of yesterday, when I was like slightly more cognizant, though, I mean, I'm still kind of out of it, where I talk about two things that I don't think are, are discussed enough when it comes to like chronic pains and migraines and illness and things like that. So let's hop into that video and then make sure you stick around to the end of that video. See who wins. Real quick before we dive in, I would love it if you would hit subscribe on my channel. I'm shooting for 100,000 subscribers sometime in the near future because I think that would be cool. So if you want to be a part of that, hit subscribe. And now let's talk about some migraines and guilt and brain fog, I guess. Let me know what you think of this. I've been laying on this couch here from 6.30 this morning until, oh, it's uh, literally 6.34 right now, 6.34 at night. When I woke up this morning because Brian by, my first thought was like, oh crap, this is gonna be a bad one. Like I, there was already a migraine starting up and it was just nasty. And so I've been laying down all day trying to make it go away, taking meds, doing whatever I can. And I wanted to talk about two issues that I don't think I've addressed before, specifically when it comes to like chronic pain, illness, and migraines that I don't know if you guys face, but this is something that comes up for me just about every time. If I seem a little bit out of it, I'm not 100% just yet, but it's definitely a lot better. Also, side note, I don't know if you guys know Gus Johnson. He's hilarious and a total sweetheart here on YouTube. I got some of his, his merch. I ordered it like two months ago and it just came in the mail. So shout out to you, Gus Johnson. Not that he needs a shout out for me. He has like a million followers, but whatever. Something I don't think a lot of people talk about. Something that I don't think a lot of people talk about is that like when a migraine hits or when you're in a lot of pain, you don't think straight. Like you don't really have access to all of your brain cells. Like you're, you, you can't think well when you're in a lot of pain, right? And so I found myself often, like when it's bad days, when things really hurt, like today, I don't even remember what helps. And that sounds st stupid because I've been living with chronic migraines for 15 years now. Like, I know what helps, I know what doesn't, I know what to do on days when they're like manageable, I'll put that in quotes. Um, I know like the steps to go through, but when I'm in a lot of pain, I get like panicked because I'm like, I don't even like, what, what even helps? Like, I don't even know what helps. And I've done this before, but I don't actually know where the list is, but like, I'm gonna write down like a list of like, these are the things to do. Like, these are the things that you need to do to help yourself when you're in a lot of pain, because even though I've dealt with this for literally more than half my life, I cannot think straight enough to figure out what the next step is, to figure out that like, you need to eat something. You haven't eaten anything in six hours that's gonna make your migraine worse. I know it hurts to get up, but you have to get up, you have to eat something kind of thing. I mean, this is not a scientific fact, but I feel like my, my brain function is reduced to like 10% capacity. And I am just like in a haze where nothing makes sense and I am like barely functioning. And so I think it's important to have things in place before they hit. Um, so I'm gonna remake a list tomorrow that I know where it is because I've had two really, really bad migraines in the last seven days where I got to like that state, you know, where I, where I just, I didn't even know what would help, even though I know it helps. But secondly, guilt. I feel like it's my fault every time. I always get this um, like sense of like, like I'm not doing something. Like I'm just being lazy or I'm not doing the thing that would actually help or I'm obviously bringing this on myself in some way. And it's gotten a lot better over the years as I've worked through different you know, mental issues I've had and I've pieced apart different things, but it still pops up, especially when things get really bad. Like when the pain gets really bad, I, I feel like it's my fault. And I have like this nagging sense that like, you did something, you did something wrong, or like you, you did, you didn't, like you didn't get enough sleep, so it's your fault, even though I did, or you know, maybe something on a, on a larger scale. I usually feel like I'm forgetting to do something, like I'm bringing it on myself, like, like I must want this to happen because it happens so often, and that's a very, uh, this is what happens, like I can't think of words. It's a very, um, you know, it's a broken thought pattern. Like that's not accurate thinking, but there's so much guilt for me that comes along with being in pain. And the thing is, is that there's nothing that I should feel guilty for, but I'll be laying down 
and like trying to rest and I'll have this nagging sense like in the back of my mind that like you should be doing the thing you should be doing the other thing and I'm like but but what's what's the other thing like what's the other thing that I'm doing that like makes this my fault and there's nothing there it's just like that that broken thought pattern you know that unhealthy way of, of thinking I just want to take a moment to share that with you guys I am really curious if you guys have experienced either of those things whether it's migraines or chronic pain or illness or just being a person um, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below three two one all right so this is everybody who entered the iWalk giveaway I wanted to do this the fairest way possible and I figured that putting all the names on pieces of paper and, and throwing them in, the, in a wine glass was gonna be the simplest way to do this I wish that I had an iWalk giveaway to everybody they are really really helpful tools if you are not today's winner fret not you can still get an iWalk they are for sale on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. And hopefully in the future, I would love to be able to do a giveaway again. So let's go ahead and hop in to see who wins. Also, I realized I say hop a lot, like hop over to my YouTube channel. Like let's hop in and, and see who wins. That's not supposed to be a joke. A lot of people have pointed it out that like I kind of constantly say that. I do love hopping in my real life as well, as you know. And our winner is Lewis. Congratulations, whoops. Lewis, congratulations. I've sent you an email. It should be waiting for your inbox for further instructions as well. A huge thank you to everyone who entered and to iWalk for providing us with this iWalk to give away. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me here today, guys. Make sure you hit like on this video and subscribe if you're interested in all this channel, which I mean, I certainly hope you are if you've stayed to the end of this video. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Hey, hand her from the sky.